post 9-11 GI Bill allows you to transfer up to 36 months of unused education benefits to your spouse or children. However, there are several regulations that can affect eligibility. Benefits transferred to your child cannot be used until you have completed at least 10 years of service. Also, they cannot use the bill until they have received a diploma, GED, or turn 18, and cannot use the benefits after the age of 26. We recently spoke to Fleet Master Chief April Beldo about other transferability limitations. After you've served actively for six years, you are now eligible to transfer your post-9-11 GI educational benefits to your family members. However, once you transfer it, you will be obligated to serve an additional four years of service, active duty service, no matter how long you've already served. So for those sailors that are thinking about it and they have 18 years in, an E6 for example, and they decide at that point they want to transfer their post 9-11 GI Bill, they would not meet the criteria because they would not be able to serve an additional four years of active duty service if they're already at the 18 year mark. While you are still on active duty, your spouse cannot collect basic housing allowance. However, unlike other dependents, they can use the benefit for up to 15 years after you separate and they're eligible to use the benefit as soon as it is transferred. After you transfer benefits, you can change the amount each dependent receives at any time, but during the initial transfer, each dependent you want to receive benefits must be listed. Transfer of benefits must be approved while you are on active duty. Be sure to contact Veterans Affairs at 1-888-GI-BILL-1 or visit gibill.va.gov to learn about your benefit situation. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Andrew Johnson.